Well, folks, I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday because today we're going to be talking about Nintendo Switch 2, which isn't really a surprise at my channel, but what is a bit of a surprise today is why we're talking about Nintendo Switch 2, and that is because we have talked in the past about how Switch 2 has game developer support. Uh, we did a thing about the GDC poll that went into the Game Developers Conference this year and how 8% of people out of the 3,000 or so that were part of that, which were all game developers, said they were currently working on games for Nintendo's next generation platform. Now, we compared this obviously to what was going on with Switch back in the day, and everything sort of lines up where that poll might be true, but also people are still being like, well, okay, but none of that's like a direct confirmation of games being made for Nintendo Switch 2. Now, we've gone over some hiring posts and other things that have definitely suggested or hinted towards something being worked on for Nintendo Switch 2. But today, thanks to a discovery by fellow YouTuber Doctray81, we now have definitive proof of a game developer literally hiring someone specifically to work on a video game for Nintendo's new hardware, otherwise known as Nintendo Switch 2. So full credit goes out to Doctray81 and we'll be referencing his video and i will link to it down in the description if you want to well, let's go ahead and head on over to his video and see what he has going on uh when it comes to this so here's dotra 81's video right here you see unreal engine 4 slash 5 party game in development for switch 2 so the title says up here and if you uh, click on this we'll just play it for a moment it says our client is on a mission to create a groundbreaking casual cooperative party game for nintendo's next gen console and they need a visionary lead unreal engine programmer to make it happen that's what it says right at the top and it says imagine blending engaging fun of overcooked with the charm of party animals all with unique design touch. If you're passionate about redefining party gaming, this is your moment to shine. It says, in this role, you will need technical mastery to create the technical backbone of our brand new double A multiplayer game, setting the stage for an unforgettable gameplay experience. Collaborative creativity, you'll have to work closely with our lead designer to bring our vision to life, balancing player and developer perspectives to create something truly extraordinary. Team growth, you need to expand our programming team by identifying and attracting top talent, enhancing our collective expertise. So they're feeling like this hire is going to be someone who could bring other people into the fold. Requirements are that you have Unreal Engine expertise, prior experience as a game programmer using Unreal Engine 4 or Unreal Engine 5, and ready to lead us as our lead game programmer. So they're looking for somebody to literally be the lead dog. Now this is fascinating, of course, because when we think about this, it sounds like an independent developer. Now, I listened to all of Dotray 81s video, and unfortunately, there's no clarification on where he found this post or any of that stuff, but he's got a long, long track record of firing, finding these hiring posts and they're all being legit. So I'm willing to give him a little leeway here on not providing a source. But I do find this to be absolutely fascinating that we're talking about a indie game hiring a lead programmer for a next generation Nintendo game, it kind of suggests Nintendo might be at the point now where they're allowing some select independent developers actually have access to Nintendo Switch dev kits because you wouldn't be hiring somebody to come on as your lead programmer to work specifically on a next generation Nintendo game if you don't even have the ability to develop for that next generation platform. So I find that to just to be Really, really interesting. Now, he goes on to find a little bit more information on this position. So let's go ahead and look at what else Dotra81 in the final. He says, we are seeking a lead Unreal Engine programmer ready to step into a world of innovation and excitement. Our client is developing a new casual cooperative party game that's set to dazzle. They're trying to really impress on Nintendo's upcoming next generation console. And then they go into all of those details again. This is just, to me, a very, very fascinating perspective when we're just thinking about the idea of creating a Nintendo Switch 2 game. So now it really just matters, what is this game? We don't know. It sounds like some exciting ideas are behind it. Whether or not it ends up turning out as well as Animal Party and some of those other indie games did, we don't know. Overcooked obviously being a massive success. Now, guys, I don't know when Nintendo Switch 2 is coming out, right? That's the big question we all want to know. When is Nintendo going to unveil the system? When is it coming out? We know all the recent delay reports about it being early 2025, at the earliest, by the way. Could be later. Kind of crazy. Here's what we do know. Nintendo has a financial meeting coming up on May 7th. And as Nate the Hate hinted at uh, about a month ago in one of his podcast episodes, and I've been suggesting this entire time, 
if the plan is for Nintendo Switch 2 to come out in the next fiscal year, there is a chance Nintendo does mention it during that financial meeting, specifically in the Q&A section, because Nintendo needs to give their future projections to their investors, what they can expect to make as a company for the next fiscal year. And in order to dive into those expectations, they need to provide what they think is going to provide that boost in revenue or whatever they're looking to get, whether it's the theme park stuff, they got to project how much revenue they expect from theme parks, how much revenue they expect from their video games or consoles and everything. They, they'll project how many units they plan to sell. And that's the thing. If the plan is for Switch 2 to release next fiscal year, that could be when we get our first true acknowledgement from Nintendo where they go, hey, we are planning to launch new hardware sometime in the next fiscal year, and that is included in our projections. So they could even announce a date for a full reveal of the platform. Obviously, we don't really know where that's going to go. But again, May 7th is that next date to look forward to potentially getting from Switch 2 news. I'm not promising any reveals, but it is indeed possible anyways nintendo could do a mention just to give you some proof of this while we already knew the code name for nintendo switch back in 2016 as nx they announced that along with the denna announcement in 2015 just to assure people they were still working on new hardware they actually gave us news about the nintendo switch in april of 2016 which is when they did this specific financial report for the following fiscal year of 2016, 2017. And that's where in that report they mentioned we're planning to launch new hardware by the end of the next fiscal year. They specifically said that. So that's why I'm saying that's what they did with Switch. They could do it again here, but we don't know. If there's no mention at all, it could also make you a little concerned that maybe Nintendo Switch 2 doesn't sneak its way into this next fiscal year, but we'll just have to wait and see. Nintendo is keeping the cards very close to the vest. Obviously, we know how quiet Nintendo's been. Not a lot of new game announcements from them besides Endless Ocean Luminous that so they announced in a third-party showcase, not even a first-party one. When are we getting that Nintendo Direct? We have no idea. Maybe they can even hint towards a future Direct. I don't. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they got a question. Hey, when if there's no Direct before this event? Hey, Nintendo, when are we going to get a Nintendo Direct? That would be a really weird question, but one in which I could see some investor asking because they're wondering uh, about the stock continuing to go down as Nintendo continues not to announce anything. Hey, when can we expect the stock to turn around, which usually happens with every Nintendo Direct. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Robojets from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you in the next video.